All right, so today on the workbench, we have these two modder boards. So this is the first gen and this is the second gen. So there are some pretty major changes to it. Uh, a lot of good changes. So I'll just kind of go around to show you. The first change that I see is that this heater cartridge uh, connector has definitely been beefed up. So this is the first gen and I actually uh, accidentally bent this first gen connector. Uh, it still works, but it just kind of got bent. So this is more uh, kind of more beefed up, more stable. The camera will focus there. Uh, so that's the first change uh, to that. The second change I see is that on the original uh, modder board, you actually couldn't connect the, the uh, original parts cooling fan because the connector is missing. So it's back on the Gen 2. So if you still wanted to go with the original parts cooling fan, uh, you can go that route. Uh, also here at the top, you see that there's kind of been some movement with connectors. Um, the thermistor has been, was here, has been moved over to here. Uh, we still have the stepper motor. Uh, and they actually, it looks like he added an extra, I believe this is a extra hot end fan. So now there's two for the hot end and there's two for parts cooling. This one only had one for the hot end fan uh, and then two for the parts cooling. So. Uh, now, if you wanted to add two, you can do that here. Uh, if you notice, the connector is upside down. Uh, I had to change it, and that's not the, because of the board of anything that was incorrectly done with the board. It's just the fans that I got from Amazon, the polarity was reversed. So it wasn't the, the board itself. It's actually the fans that were incorrect. So I had to just flip them over. Uh, for the, uh, the connector here, the ribbon connector, so as you can see here, is kind of there's nothing really there. It just kind of connects and then you had to print out this little adapter. With this one, it actually has the clips in order to connect the fan or the, uh, the ribbon cable. So I'm a little bit concerned uh, because of how much it may stick out. So, I mean, as you can see here on the stock one, uh, it does kind of stick out a little bit here. So I, I don't know, I have to install it and see because the connector's at the top. So it's going to be on the back. So uh, I will, install this right now and then I'll make a video later about it just to see how that fits but this is just to kind of take a look at the board so definitely some nice changes and I believe on this one there is a spot to add a resistor so that you can connect a 12 volt Noctua fan uh, and this is only for the hot end so definitely an option he actually includes a resistor in the packaging which is nice but it definitely does give you more options. So this is actually pretty cool. And then he did verify, uh, Nathan Builds Robots did verify that it actually does work with the Ender 5 S1, which is pretty cool. So if you're planning on getting that, you can use this to modify your machine. So I will be installing this one. Um, and it should work basically the same, but it does just give a little bit more flexibility. So I'll install it, make a separate video, show you guys how it's working. All right, thanks for your time.